Hello and welcome. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Today we are going to do a landscape background tutorial. Hello to everyone in the live stream. Hello mom. Hello everybody. There's so many of you here. Thank you for being here. So we are doing this smug fest um, in a couple of groups. Uh, it was organized by Monarch Coloring Events. Please go and check out their Facebook page. It's in the description. Um, also, there's a wonderful event happening in Coloring Fiesta group. There's a scavenger hunt. A dragon egg will be hidden in each and every artist that's part of the Smug Fest. Um, and then the one who finds it wins amazing prizes. So... Go and check that out. We will also be having a lovely dragon event in Color My Dreams, my Facebook group. It's also, the link is in the description. And I will load um, the dragon event probably tomorrow uh, in Color My Dreams. So today we're going to play with landscape backgrounds. I'm going to touch a little bit on textures, colors, how to handle when there's water in the background. So this is a basic tutorial that you can use on any of your other coloring pages. Whether it's a portrait or an object, you can place them in a setting by just playing around with the background. This one is a specific page that I've used. Um, it's called Koizes um, Goddess. It is available from my Etsy store. And um, just click on the link in the description to get your page and color along with me. We will be doing this in public stream and we will carry on each and every week, every Wednesday, same time. Hi Abby, welcome. And Quasis means mysterious one or hunter of the meadows. So I thought that would be a fitting name for my bronze dragon. And there's a little bit of history and details that I've posted on the image um, post in Color My Dreams Facebook group. Okay, so let's start. We're going to work a little bit of on textures and a little bit of color play when doing um, these landscapes. So I decided not to just do a straightforward sunset with a landscape. Um, just to show you a little bit of details that you can play around with, like for example, a waterfall in the backgrounds, in the, in the hilltops, a little bit of light play when the light's coming from the one side so I would probably still do like you know it's either sunrise or a sunset but it's quite light still so it's not too dark so that you can see the details a little bit of grass in between the rocks waterfall how the light falls on rocks and then how you create a little bit of depth so this is basic hi Mona welcome hi sickle Hi, Tani Irina. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Lizzie. Hello to all my patrons. Thank you that you all are here. Really appreciate it. So let's start. This is the image. So I've got basic landscape drawn in, in a very fadey way so that you can still play around if you want to cover it. So there's just a basic mountain on the one side basic rocks basic rocks here a little bit of a dimensional shape of little hills there so it's just a guide but it's light so you can still cover it if you don't want these ones and just want the rocks you can still do it okay first 
I'm going to start with our hill with a waterfall. So you can basically just use this as a background on one of your pages if you like to. I'm going to zoom in to bring you a little bit closer so you can see the details and how to achieve them. Hi Ria, welcome. So I'm going to keep it very basic. It's not too difficult. It is a basic tutorial. So I hope you will all have lots of fun. And I hope to see some of these backgrounds or in landscape. So please tag me when you post them or when you color this image post to my Facebook groups. I would love to see what you've done. First color is eggshell. No problem, Abby. Thank you for being here now. So, first of all, my light is coming from my left hand side. So, you want to highlight the side where your light will be coming from. So my light will be coming from this side. So I'm lightening my left hand side of the mountain. Or piece of a mountain. And now I'm just going to play around with some details. So first of all, I don't want it as bright as this. So with a lighter hand, this was a medium to a heavy hand. Yeah. Hi, Caroline. Welcome. So now you're lifting your pressure off the pencil, holding it further back. And I'm just going to draw lines down and create little bits of interest with little bits of bumped out rocks. So here we want one, a little bit of a highlight, for example, here. A little squared face here. And because of the angle, there will be some light being caught onto this one. Here, there will be not as much. And on this one, just a little edge, for example. Next color I'm going to use is going to be golden rod. You want your highlights to still have some warmth because it's... As I said, I'm doing a sunrise or a early sunset. So it's still bright, so you can still see the details, but there is light play on the rocks. So golden rod. Now here at the top, you have a little bit of warmth, but it's not as bright. Right next to my eggshell and a little bit. So now here I'm just doing a squiggle motion. You don't want it to be too exact. And a little bit here.
next burnt ochre. I'm just drawing li downward lines except when we're doing little shapes. So most of the colouring is just drawing down or that's just my mountain texture. You get different mountain textures but I find this is an easy way so it's a very simple landscape tutorial so to keep it simple just draw down. So here, what I'm doing is, all I'm doing is I'm drawing down and then here and there, I'm just crossing it so that you get more of a little bit of a rocks, but because they're far away, you don't get too much detail on them. Now before we carry on, we first have to decide where we're going to put our waterfall. So I've got a little dark spot here on this one. So I've decided to let my waterfall start here. And then have a little bit of, oh you can decide where. Um, I'm just going to go like this. And then here for example. And then a, a bigger fall down here. All the way down. And first I am just drawing them down with white. Yes, Abby. I, every live stream I do, I publish all the pencils after the stream, the codes and pencils, um, colors that I've used in each tutorial will be in the description. Next color is chocolate. So now we're first going to, this is just your placement. We will work on that just now. Now we're giving a little bit of a shadow, separating your shapes. And it's not an exact science, you can, as you play with your page, you'll get some textures and rocks going. And your shapes will be create will be created as you go along and as you move your pencils. I'm turning my pencil to keep it fairly sharp. As you can see, I'm not going all the way right next to the water or the waterfall because we will do some green details around it to create interest.
Next is 70% fringe grey. We want some grey on our mountain rocks. Not too much. Next is dark brown. Still again, just moving downward motion, drawing little lines, getting that texture going and creating your lights and darks, shadow areas. It's just lines, Lizzie. <laughs> so it's pretty basic. It's not too much detail. It's just downward lines. You'll see, you'll create it quite easily, really. It's more of giving the effect of what you see. Now I'm darkening the one side of each of the f waterfalls. So here, right next to the white, and a little bit on this side. And then here, where it's a little bit wider, also just darken the one side here. And then here. Darkness here. And just extend your waterfall if it is on this if it's slightly more to the side where you chose it choose it to be then you don't have to extend it all the way but up until where you find the hair widen it at the top then it's narrow down and soften the line You just get your shape. Next is espresso. Oh, where's my espresso? Here we go, espresso. Oh, it's a nice color to get real bit of darkness. And then just above your waterfall, 
a little darkness. Carry it through to these rocks. Again, here where you have your second fall, just darken it right to that little edge, like a mountain edge, before it falls down. Think about what the water is doing. So then you know exactly where to darken it. Darken the edge as it goes over the edge on the side. This section here. Here. Then again, right here by the edge. Darken it. A little bit here by this rock. Like that. Go slightly over some of the light because it's moving slightly towards the side. So now I'm going to divide it because this side will be in shadow. Let's give this one a little bit of a bump out. There we go. Give the shadow going upward, even if it is in the bright side of these. Give a shadow to this little piece here. dark in the bottom. Play a little bit with these textures here. Little, little rocks. Mm, just like that. Coming down. Okay. Ready for some greys. Let's go 70% cool grey. Yeah little bit of cool grey. Get some coolness going. A little bit of shapes in the shadow area. You'll see immediately when you add this colour, you still get your shapes, but it tones down the colour immediately.
next beige sienna <laughs> Barbara sometimes I flick it out of my hand though <laughs> beige sienna from the top down by a flicking motion so I'm, you are refining the texture get it finer so that the mountain looks further away or the piece of the mountain and give it a little bit of a jaggedness so that not too the same Hi Sarah, welcome. Next, we want to use Sienna Brown. Get some little bit of warmer tone going. Don't worry, we'll tone it again with some greys. Again, soften some of the highlights. Get some of the warmth in the cooler area. A little bit, not too much. Next is 50% French grey. Hi Lulu, welcome. Now you can just play a little bit 
can add a little bit more textures, soften some of them, that's too harsh, for example here. Bye-bye, Ria. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest. Now 50% warm grain. Just a little bit downward, just like that. Next we're going to take 90% warm grain now. Now here I want this edge to be really dark. So I'm starting to shade it basically from here. Like that. Accentuate where the darkest shadows is. For example, like this. Now I'm just going to take my badge sienna first and just rework your highlighted shapes here and there just so that it's not so I'm going in squiggle motion not in flat lines now a little squiggle motion just like that Back to the 90%, I forgot to add here, a little bit more darkness, shade it to go like that. A little bit of dark brown here in between the grey, a little bit dark brown here. Now 
next burnt ochre. Hi Michelle, welcome. So nice to see you here. I was just telling everybody about Colouring Fiesta and the Monarch uh, Colouring events. And the links are in the description. And about your wonderful scavenger hunt event in the Colouring Fiesta group. Oh, no, laundry is not my favorite thing to do at all. <laughs> Next is cool gray again. A little bit of softness in the shadow area. Then 50% French gray. Rework some of the lighter areas. Then eggshell. Um, Sherry, the eggs are hidden in each artist every day. Michelle will make a post to say um, with a riddle and you must find it in the artist Etsy shops. It's somewhere in the shop in one of the po or the listings. There will be an egg hidden. But you must find the listing that it's in and where the egg is. Uh, light in the top that will catch the light now you can carry on with your rocks till you're happy if you want to lighten them you can lighten them a little bit this is just with page thinner lighten them and you can turn them till you're happy uh, I'm fairly happy at this stage and uh, now I'm just going to add some greenery around the waterfall so first I'm going to start with ol oopsie, olive green So right at the top a little bit and at the bottom a little bit of olive green then on the edges 
around it. Then first I'm going to, uh, or second, I'm going to ask lime peel. So just go flat right next to it. Mm, just like that, so it's flat color. Now we're going to shade it with artichoke, but make sure your pencil is sharp. Now little squiggle motions with the sharp pencil from the edges, from the, oh, don't press so hard to break the tips. Little squiggle motions bring in some of this artichoke just to dampen the color back to olive green. squiggle motions, soften the edges. And lime peel again. Next, I'm going to use Caledon Green. Oh, thank you, Michelle. The Caledon Green, you're going to shade from where it, it falls onto the level upwards. So flicking upwards, you shade your little white spot because the waterfall is not just white. So flicking upwards. Then we're going to add a little bit of Seventy percent cool gray. Because the further down it goes, it's almost like it's a little bit darker and there's more spray involved visually. It's not as prominent. It also depends on the waterfall, I guess. But mine is not a really strong one, so I've got spray happening on mine. <laughs> so soften your edges. Laura, the link is in the description. You can join. Okay, Lulu, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Yes, join the group, Laura, and we will also be... Then right at the top, Make sure it stays nice and white right at the top. Mm, 
then you want a little bit of powder blue. So as your waterfall falls down, with the light hand, just go a little bit level because there is some spray always happening. So just a little bit like across to soften it. Oops. Then just whiten it again here where the water is starting to fall. The lime green make it a little bit more bushy here. Like that. And then I'm going to take 90% warm grey again to accentuate the full of the waterfall on the one side. And then powder blue. There we go. And this is just the 70% cool grey again. See, so now you can get the whole motion of the waterfall falling down by just doing shading on the white. Yes, Sherry, you, the riddle will be posted in Fiesta group. Then you need to go to whoever the artist is, Etsy shop, to find the egg. The egg is hidden in the Etsy shop. Not on the Fiesta group, the egg. Now, I want to take a little bit more goldenrod. Now, because everything looks the same, here, oops, this is not goldenrod, sorry. Here's goldenrod. Little bit of yellow here. This one is just goldenrod. Now, we're just defining the highlight. And it's just a little bit of detailing, not too much, because we're keeping it pretty basic. And there we go. A little bit of more of cool grey here. And a little bit of chocolate just here. Want a little bit of warmth from the chocolate. little bit of burnt ochre soften some of your textures just here and there not too much and that's it for your little mountain with a waterfall. See, it wasn't that difficult. It's just about the color placement. Oh, I think I just need to shape it a little bit better. So here, um, just going to take artichoke.
and this one is 70% cool grey powder blue and white hi Deb welcome just white at the top and you can go further you can leave it like this or you can go further and add little details like um, accentuating some of the greenery with your eggshell for example and with the little speckling's you create a little bit of bushes more growth of the plants but it's up to you you can go really into detail in sections This is 90%. And a final touch is just a little bit of black. You want to a little bit of drama on your mountain. So this is just black. Accentuate just the darkest parts. Just here and there, very thin, just the darkest shadows. So this was just a little fun to add some interest. So next we're going to do one of the rocks that's quite in front. So it has a little bit more detail than the rest. So we're starting with this one. First, we're going to get our, again, 
the warmth from the sun. No, this print is a bit fuzzy. <laughs> it was a really bad print. So let's put my hand, then you can see better. So here, outline your rocks on the side that the light will catch. Just highlight it. But let me know if it's still fuzzy. So first color again, eggshell. Then a little bit on some of the rocks here that will catch like the edge on this one will still catch some of the sunlight or the rays so it will be light like here a little bit here so this again uh, this is just basic rocks So we are just having some fun with background textures. And this is just a little bit more details on these ones. Let's give it a little bit more here and there. Mm, I think that should do it. There we go. Next color is going to be thirty percent cool gray. I think before I carry on, let's quickly do a page giveaway. Number generator, as usual. Um, so you can all choose a number between 1 and 100. And you can all go now. There will be a new page coming soon. Also on Dragon Theme, also Smugfest page. So choose, choose, choose your numbers. Okay, so the next color is 30% cool gray. And I'm adding it right next to the eggshell. So you get a highlighted shape, a shape highlight, but I've divided it into two colors from where the shadow will start.
And you'll see once you put the two next to each other, the cool grey will look like a light blue. Oh, and if you like these tutorials that we've been doing and you want a little bit more in-depth tutorials, you can join my patron. The uh, link is also in the description. My patrons, there's different tiers. You've got one tier for a dollar and you get a page a month, a new page uh, every month. Or and you have access to previous pages. Then you have the second tier with one tutorial plus the page. Then the tiers goes up. We have a patron tutorial every Wednesday before the public stream doing different things that the people vote for. Okay, so it's all the numbers in. So let's start. Start. Stop. 76. Mom and Abby, check for me. Who's the winner for 76? Wow, we have a spot on. Sarah, congratulations. Sarah, you can PM me or DM me and I will get your, uh, oh, and you can choose a page from my Etsy store or you can wait for the new page to come out soon and then you can just DM me or PM me and I will email your price to you. Anna, welcome. Now again, just squiggle motion because you want that little bit of texture. So now I'm going a little bit like a cross edge, uh, going this way and opposite way. And we're starting to work in the shadow areas. to be welcome. Nice to see you here. Next color is espresso. Espresso is one zero double nine.
and now I'm just changing direction as um, moving the pencil and changing direction as I apply the color just so that you can get different textures as the pencil lines cross So now, as you can see, here's sharp pointy ones, and these are a little bit more rounded. Because I thought, let me show you both textures instead of just doing all the same, so that you can play around with um, your background pages, whether you want round a little bit more rounded ones or sharp edged ones, so you can use the tutorial on any of the ones that you would like to do. And please feel free to ask questions if you have any. Next 70% cool grey. Still flicking the pencil, keeping it fairly sharp. Now I'm going to add a little bit of greenery, like moss or grass or something that's growing in between before we carry on with toning the rocks. So first I'm going to take a lime peel again, PC1005.
so here I'm just adding them in here just on the one side because I'm sure that they won't grow everywhere or not on my image <laughs> they could grow everywhere but not here today Next is Artichoke, PC1089. A little bit of shad shading around the rocks in squiggle circular motion so that you can get a mottled texture. Then a little bit of dark brown. What did I do with the dark brown? Oh, here we go. Just need to sharpen it quickly. Okay, a little bit of dark brown. Again, just a little bit of squiggle. See, when doing landscapes or landscape textures, if you keep it basic like this, it's really not difficult. Uh, it's just about color placement and textures that you create. And think about your lights and darks. So where the light will catch whatever you have in your landscape. And that's an easy way just to create a little bit of interest on the image. Next is goldenrod. Again, a little bit of warmth here and there to brighten it up a bit. Get the warmth going.
Oopsie. Next, seventy percent cool grey. Just go over some of the shadows on the shadow side. Define them a little. A little bit of chocolate. Uh, Hi, Marilyn. Welcome. So nice to see you here. Then back to 30% um, cool grey. Rework some of your highlights. Shade those colours in. In fifty per cent warm grey, Now 90% warm grey. Now really go into the darkest parts again. Just give it a little bit of interest.
now 70% cool grey then the 90% um, again And this is just one lonely little rock here. Eggshell. Let's just combine them. There we go. So now it's not a lonely rock. Now just 50% uh, cool grey, soften that shadow, a little bit more here. Now I'm going to take beige sienna. beige sienna. Soften here. Um, give a little bit of a blend highlight to some areas in the shadow area. Again, just creating a little bit of interest with the light and dark because this is pretty straightforward you just play around with the colors and the shapes of the rocks little bit of 50% French grey just add a little bit of French grey here on this these rocks here by the plants then accentuate with the eggshell this section here And I think a little bit of pale sage. There we go. A little bit of pale sage. A little bit of squiggle motion on the plants itself. And then lime peel again. There we go. And there you have a little bit of rounded rocks. And you, a little bit more definition just with 
the olive green? Where's the olive green? I think we need a little bit of olive green. There we go. A little bit of definition. No, I think we need a darker one. Let's go kelp green. <laughs> Thank you, Tippy. Thank you, Abby. So here are just basic plain rounded rocks. Now we can move over to the pointy rocks. Now the pointy rocks, again, look at where the light is coming from. Again, just the eggshell. First, I just want to sharpen my pencil. And this I'm going to use plain cross hatching. Pretty straightforward. Um, most a, a couple of directions, but mostly diagonals. Following the line of the tips, mm, basically. So, yeah. First. Do your highlighted area, similar to our mountain in the beginning. So remember your lights coming from the side. Then here, a little bit. So I'm first just adding in the highlight. That's it. Straightforward. One color highlight. The eggshell for now. And now they're moving further away. So it's less detail. They say left handed people are extremely creative. You still want to show some detail so that the eye picks it up, but not too much detail. Similar to this, it's details that your eye are filling in the gaps. It's not detail that you sit and draw each and every little piece of grass or plant growth. So these are pretty basic. I think I've got all of them in. Oh no, Danirina. No problem. No problem, Barbara. So now again, we use 
50% cool gray as your highlighted highlight color so your light highlight color in the shadow area hope that makes sense bye bye Daniri. no thank you for being here i really appreciate it So again, doing highlights, accentuating the shapes. So just creating your shapes. So just getting all the shapes in. Also again, pretty basic. Just the highlight. Then we just add the mittens and the darks on this one. Next color is Saint Barbara.
and now it looks a little bit like it's not making any sense but it will all come together just now when we add all the midtones Next is dark brown. Oh, thank you, Abby. Thank you, Sherry. A little bit of a gap in between the rocks. Make it a nice big one. A little bit of details just in between the rocks. Thank you, Janine. So it's just a little bit of a squiggle motion following the lines, adding in the shadows. creating shapes so you can have some fun create your own shapes block them off just play around a bit they don't have to all be exactly the same
Okay, and that's the brown done. Now, let's add some goldenrod before we carry on. Goldenrod here and there, not too much. down here so see the, with these ones it's not a lot of colors but it's just about where you place it and your lights and darks think about your light source think about where the lights coming from No, it really is easy, Laura. It's just about um, squiggling your way through it, placing, for example, your eggshell and then your golden rod, then your really light bluey grays, then your dark browns, then move over to your darker tones, like your dark grays. This is 90% and your work late, uh, uh, all your ones that you've done recently of my tutorials are absolutely brilliant, Laura. Um, sorry, this is the wrong one. I must first take page Cena now. No, Caroline, this is really is not hard. You, once you, um, do it, you'll see what I mean. You, this is just a squiggle and a squiggle. Dippy, it's not a lot of colors in this one. Oh my, we've got our naked troll again. Abby, I think you need to block or report or something, <laughs> please. You're welcome, Laura. But I must say, lots of the people that did uh, tutorials that I've seen all came out wonderfully. The main thing is not to be scared. Just go for it. Start. Try it. And if you're stuck, then you can peer me. Thank you, Abby. 30% cool gray again. Rework some of those highlights.
next is 70% cool grain So now it's really just a play between the cooler colours and the warmer colours. But they are just greys, really. Greys and browns. And look at where the shadow will fall. Which part of it is in shadow? What catches the light still? Just a little bit. Next eggshell again. Ninety per cent warm grey. Whoopsie. Janine, did you use Prisma pencils? If you use Prisma pencils, then you can always take from dark back to light. I'm sure it can be fixed. Janine, you can just PM it to me and I will see how I can help. No problem. I'll explain to you on the PM, but I first need to see the picture. And then sometimes there's correcting colors that you can do. A 
color that you can put over the color that you have to correct the color tone. And these ones we just shade a little bit darker at the bottom. Give it a little bit more definition. Next is a dark brown, a light layer over everything. Everything that was in the shadow side. Now, just a little rework of the cool grays. First, we need a little bit of sandpaw brown. Sandpaw brown. And it's just a light layer on the highlighted areas. Because it's in the shadow, you need to have add shadow. So you've got your shapes down, you've got the shape shadows down, now put it in the shadow. Now light umber, just in these sections, because you want that little bit of greeny tinge. Next, 70% cool grey. So now here and there, 
we add a little bit of the school gray just to define some of the rocks Now a little bit of chocolate because you want a little bit of brown but not too much. Because you don't want completely different rocks. Here we have like a light rock. These are also lightish rocks but you still want to stay in the same color tone because it's the same page and we have similar tones on the mountain section. Next 50% warm grey. Now a little espresso. Now we can do a little bit more details. Oh my hat, here he is again.
sometimes wonder how, why they choose certain channels. He's back again. Abby, help. my work I wonder why they just do this on random channels Again, chocolate. Blend in all the dark colors lightly. Light umba. Thirty percent cool gray. It's crazy. These trolls jumping into the live chats. Uh, we're almost done. Ninety percent warm grey. Back to thirty percent cool grey.
I've got no idea, Laura. I think Abby might know. I think we can stop here tonight. I will do the final finishing um, next week and then we move over to our other ones. And it's just a little bit of squiggling. So we are working towards, then we will do these ones, finishing this and move over to the water and the sky, for example. So thank you, Abby and mom for being my mods. Thank you to each and everyone that came out to watch the stream. I really appreciate it. Yes, Tippy, I agree. It's not a troll video. <laughs> he must go away. <laughs> oh, thank you, Abby. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And please check out those um, the Facebook groups and the events. And come and join in the fun. I will be here next week, Wednesday, um, with more on the background. And if you are interested in more tutorials, more in-depth tutorials, uh, join my patron and come and uh, come to more tutorials and join in the fun. There's lots of the ladies here in the in the stream as patrons, and they're all great. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay safe. See you next week.